gorgeous. Oh, I know. Your hair, everything about <laughs> you, you have no idea. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm Zaldo. Welcome back to Candy Unwrapped. Today is the most amazing day. I have the most brilliant guest who shines like a diamond, who lights up my life. And here's Sophie and Zaldo. Yay! Oh, I'm so flattered by that intro. Oh my God. It is so true. You are absolutely, I don't know how to explain to you. And I know that I I send you love, 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 but it's like, I really need to hug you and hold you tight. That's really sweet. I think you make the world a better place by doing what you're doing. Oh, I do. So to say. How would you explain your job title? I feel like people see me as there's like two different job descriptions of what I do. I work in props in television, and then I'm also a Swarovski artist. So it depends on how you look at it. Like I do have my own company, Crystal Coated, right. and that is where I use Swarovski crystals to embellish anything you want. But my day job is I work in props on TV. And then a lot of times it intertwines. Right. Working on a show and I'm, you know, embellishing props with Swarovskis. And that's really how it started. I mean, I was on a job. Um, on, I was on Lip Sync Battle. After Lip Sync Battle, there was kind of like a spinoff. It was Lip Sync Battle Shorties. So oh, it was okay. a version of Lip Sync Battle. So the trophy on that show for the winner was a microphone. And it had this like cool design that was covered in crystals. <gasps> but they had this microphone that was used in every episode. But now by the end of the season, we have to make 10 of these microphones to actually send out to the people who won each episode. Oh. So it was one of those situations where it was like the entire prop department made these microphones with Swarovski crystals. And I had never done it before. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't really know it was a thing. It just turned out to be something I just had a knack for. And I really enjoy doing it. And this is really fun. You did a cane, an alligator uh, cane, right? And that was for, was it? The The mask singer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it is the what I want people to really understand that they are truly works of art. Okay, so now I have to reveal as I'm saying this, I want to <laughs> reveal. I called up Sophie crying and begging, saying, please be on my show, please. Well, actually, what happened was I watched um Daily Pop and I saw Justin, and he one day brought in this amazing cup that you know Jennifer Lopez always has with her and all these people always have with her and I saw this cop and he said crystal coated I just had to go and get this Did you get that shout out crystal coated thank you so much oh, wait what is that and I want one I, I, I want one <laughs> and I immediately I was like crystal coated. I mean, it was like there was nothing else in the world that mattered to me at that time. And here is what you have created for me. And I don't know if anyone can see. First of all, the beauty of it is really um, until you are sitting here in person. But it is absolutely. I mean, come on. You don't even understand. Can I tell you the truth that when in the evenings, all the lights are off and we have this, we have a glass table and it's right in the middle and it just, it like bounces off the walls, the color, like the the Swarovski crystal. It's just the most beautiful thing. So like, this is our very, you can have sexy time with this. You can have, it's amazing. You. So I thank you for that. So what I want to start with by saying, how did this all begin? Growing up, I was always very indecisive on what I wanted to do. I was actually interested in fashion. Ah. And I thought I might fit in somewhere in the fashion industry. So in high school, I started to look into going to FITM, the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. Oh, okay. Interested in that. 
um, which I did end up going there. But when I went, I went to take a tour of the school to kind of figure out what I wanted to major in. Right. And I was looking at the fashion design program and it was just kind of instant. I didn't click with it. I was like, I just like to find cute clothes to wear. And that's kind of the <laughs> end of that. And I just didn't see a place for me in that world. And I always kind of saw myself, you know, in the entertainment industry in some aspect. I didn't really know what that meant. I thought it would be fun to help like design the sets and maybe be a production designer or a set decorator. And I didn't even really know what any of that meant or what any of that entailed. It but doesn't I matter. It, it sounded good. It sounded good. It sounded fun, as I'm sure it does to most people. And then I kind of got in and it's really not what you think it is. Growing up and watching TV, there is so much work behind the scenes that goes into it. The hours are long, the days are long. So yeah, I kind of saw myself working in the industry and I was like, I want to kind of be garnered to, you know, the art department or doing props, something like that. I met these guys. They're some of the best prop masters in the industry, Damian Hattori and Bazanovic. They hired me on Lip Sync Battle. Do you remember that show with Chrissy Teigen and LL Cool J? Yes, yes. yes. So that's really kind of where I you lived in LA. You grew up in LA I grew up in the Bay Area. So that's how you met because all these industry people are either in New York or LA more so in LA, I yeah. think. And so how did you meet this guy? Is it a guy? I don't yeah, I met this guy. His name is Damien. I was working on Hell's Kitchen as a production assistant. So I got in that show. Any show I was on, I would just make connections like with the art team or the props team and just kind of always let them know like, you know, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm interested in. If you have anything in the future. And that's what happened. He was working on the prop department on Hell's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. and his next job was Lip Sync Battle. And he gave me a shot and kind of took me under his wing. The rest is history, really. I've been working with him ever since. If there were people who wanted to do what you do, what would you say would be the top three, um, biggest pieces of advice that you would give? So as far as bedazzling goes, if that's what you want to do, the biggest, the first thing I would say is you really need to hone the craft. It takes an enormous amount of patience and practice to achieve anything. It's not easy. I mean, there's, there's a specific amount of glue that you need to apply. And how much glue can you apply for, you know, the amount of crystals you need to put on that space before the glue dries in 10 seconds. There, it's like everything is so specific and it's really easy for something to look sloppy. To practice, if you don't have the patience, it's not the occupation for you. <laughs> um, the next thing really, I mean, I hate to say this, knowing the right people is really important. I think, but that's, there's yeah, nothing wrong with saying that. that. That's how it is. It's really how it is. I mean, but all it takes is that one person to get you in the door. And the rest is, I mean, and then you stay for what you do. You don't stay because you know that person. It takes a lot of practice with the materials and the applicators. Like there's so many options. You really kind of need to find your groove in it. What I think is so incredible about you like I'm going back to that alligator and I'm also in love with that hamburger the cheeseburger oh my gosh <laughs> that's so cute it's the cutest thing that's probably like the most random thing I've ever it's done the best is so, that is that the most random piece you've ever done? Probably, probably. I mean, I can think of a couple, but I think I think that wins it. What's your favorite one that you've ever done? Out of everything? Yes. I would have to say we did um, a live special. There was a we did a Michael Jackson tribute show. Um, so all the contestants did a different Michael Jackson song. And we filmed it at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. And it was kind of like a big deal. Oh. So I did. So normally the um, trophy for that show for the winner was like a championship belt, leather belt. Oh, yes. It was never bedazzled like throughout the whole show, but during this live event, they wanted it to be covered in Swarovski crystals. As and one, you only should have a belt like that. That's what I think. <laughs> 
So I think that was my favorite. It, it was one of the first things I've ever done. It was probably almost right after that microphone I did for the shorty, my first time ever doing it. That was a really special piece. And I think why is I remember walking in to the Dolby Theater like before we started and everyone is just kind of getting settled audience hadn't even come in yet and i see the belt like in a glass cage or not a cage like a case and there were crew members like in a forming a line to take pictures of it and i just remember thinking like just Did how you cry? It, I, it was just really it was validating mm -hmm. i was like, i think i can do this and I think I'm going to be really good at it. And I, that was really kind of the moment I can go back to and think, like, this is what I'm going to do. After okay, the goosebumps everywhere. That's so beautiful. I can't tell you that everything I look at now, I'm like, oh, but if it was Swarovski crystal. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Trust me. Another thing I'm going to, I'm going to have you soon do because I'm like looking for things uh -huh. and like, even, you know, you do the ashtray holders, you yeah. know, like everything is, it's a, it's really a piece of artwork. And just so people know too, I want to explain how important the Dolby theater is. Cause I don't know if everyone that's watching knows, but the Dolby theater is where so many major events, in Hollywood happen. How, how many years have you been doing this? I'm approaching four years. Four years isn't really that long. No, but you're really that good. So I just think, do you know what? When somebody like that, you you found what you needed to find. I have to say, like you do not only with the color, you do like artwork. Correct me if I'm saying this wrong, but like the gradation, is that Gradient. The gradient, yeah, where it starts light and it goes to dark and dark and dark. I mean, there's art behind just putting Swarovski crystals. Even the fact that you don't even use the same size, you use different sizes, which makes a huge difference. And I don't know that anyone would know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That that element is really important to me is to use different sizes to have something that is bedazzled covered in these crystals. I think it's it can be easy to make something look tacky or a little cheesy, you know, when it's like so uniform and there's no real design to it. Mm. The attention to the detail in it is really important to me. But that also takes double the time. It depends on what your goal is. Well, you know, I, I know that on Crystal coded your site, you do a time lapse. It's a really fun thing to watch when you do that, because just to see it before and then see it, something after that's done, it's a completely different thing. What is the weirdest request you've ever gotten to Swarovski Crystal? And did you ever say no? I don't think, I honestly can't think of a time I've ever said no. I'm kind of, I'm a yes person. I, I always try. There hasn't been a lot of weird things. I mean, that burger was pretty random. Yeah, how did that come up? That was, I was working on Guy's Grocery Games with Guy Fieri. And there was an episode where they were doing this burger competition. And the winner got this like burger, gold burger medal. So we like put a chain on it and it looked like a... Like a necklace. Yeah. It's so good. It's Thank just brilliant. You. It's one of like, well, my my all time favorite. And of course, I don't know everything that you've done. But from what I've seen, it's just that alligator. I've noticed the detail, like the pink tongue. What I was wondering, like, how did you get so deep in there? Because it's crystalled everywhere. So that was a, that's actually a custom piece. So it was it was 3D printed to oh, make it yeah. Wow. So we had so on that season of the Mass Singer, we had a crocodile character. Costume. Yeah. And it was pink. The costume was pink. And so they wanted to match that head. So it was it was completely from scratch. We like built the cane, we put it together, painted it before I, you know, started bedazzling. Right. I don't know. It's it's so amazing. I would say like 
Um, what celebrity has been most appreciative or most excited that you've worked with that you've done mics for? For me, the biggest thrill, speaking of the crocodile, it turned out to be Nick Carter. Yeah. And for me, like I grew up in the 90s and he has a special place in my heart. And with that crocodile cane, it was truly easily the hardest thing I've ever done. I completely underestimated the work work that was going to go into it. It was really challenging. I had a deadline. They ended up telling me like right when it was finished that they're no longer going to use the cane because no. it's choreography. And, and that kind of thing happens all the time. Like we work on things, it gets canceled, it comes back later. And the reason why they did end up using it was because the crocodile made it to the finale. So there was another opportunity to use it. So he ended up using it. And so I specifically was like, I want to watch the crocodile's elimination because I want to know who is in there because yes whatever it is has made my life so difficult the last three weeks <laughs> but yet you loved and didn't know for so long no exactly and so then he took off the mask and it was him and it was worth it that was a fun day what do you see in your future how would you like to continue like in the near future so right now i get hired from people who work on shows or on a film the people who are singing on the mass singer have no idea that sophie and zaldo made this microphone there is a time where i would love to be the point person for you know lady gaga needs a mic stand and she wants sophie to do it keith urban wants like a cool design on his guitar and like his people reach out to me i want to have a more direct relationship so that's where i see it eventually people are going to be coming and keith urban and lady gaga and every other person on the planet is going to be like sophie 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 <laughs> and you're like i you're like up to here in swarovski crystals I mean, I definitely see that if you want that, you're going to have that. I'm trying to think what inspires you the most just in general? That's a good question. You know, I, my favorite part about what I do is when it's finished. My favorite part about the job is finishing the job because to see the finished product after putting so many hours into it and then seeing it on a stage or on camera, like I, I get a high from it every Every time. And there's times, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've stayed up all night for a deadline and I will cry because I haven't slept in two days. I've worked myself sick before because I never say no. So that's something I'm learning is my time management. But then I see it finish and I see what it is and where it ends up. And it's it's super rewarding. Which is, I mean, that's amazing. And you know, I wish that everyone in the world could have a job that they were so passionate in. I just think that you, by your passion, it shows through your work. I see that for you. There's no doubt in my mind. What was the football, by the way? That football. Football. So when I talk about being up all night and crying, it was that. Oh, no. <laughs> that was it? It was that. Only because I took that job while I was working full time on a show. So I took that. That was for um, a Dancing with the Stars segment. So crystal coated. And by the way, I am going to have that all over the screen. What other platform are you on if people want to get to you or want to ask for something to be Swarovski crystalled? Yeah, you can contact me through my website. And um, I have a, a special request form if you want to talk to me about something custom. You can DM me on Instagram, same platform, crystal.coded. And TikTok, I'm on TikTok now. Oh, you're on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm old. I have no idea. I'm like TikTok. For th the fact that I'm even doing this, it's it takes a village. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so appreciative. And this was a really, really special episode. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Please reach out to Sophie. And thank you so much. Bye. Bye.